Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and I was asked to do another tutorial video on the same thing I just done, basically. Uh, except for I was asked to include Microsoft Windows um, Movie Maker. I think it's called Windows Live Movie Maker or something like that now, but you can get it for free if you download something, and it's called Windows Essentials. Uh, I don't know if it's a specific year. I think it's 2012 is the one I have. Uh, but anyway, what I'm doing is taking the video from the Microsoft Life Cam software, and which is this here, and I'm going to be taking audio through this instead of this. Now, there's a reason for that this program will only use the built-in microphone that is built into the web camera itself and if I will tell you now if you have true color and it doesn't work for your normal recordings with the normal microphone it also will not work for your videos with the external microphone uh, the video will not work right it will be really fast or really slow and way out of sync with everything and it's not even worth doing so anyway uh, you need audacity you need the an external microphone or a, a secondary microphone I'm using a blue snowball ice I believe it's called uh, yeah the snowball ice I picked it up the day before yesterday and I love it I had it on a a big mic stand and I'm trying out the desk stand with it today and it actually works fairly well just on the desk stand I think I will be using it on that as well um, so anyway you can get audacity completely for free and it's completely legal there's it's a open source project I believe is what they're called uh, but it is a um, you can get it at audacity dot sourceforge.net and if you want it if you want to see the actual link I'll have a link in the description and check out my descriptions on my how to's all the time because I will put extra info in there so anyway uh, I'm gonna go on and get this started because I don't want to take extra time but I will say when I start the video here when I start this and I start this I'm gonna to have to wait about 10 seconds before I actually I'll give it five seconds before I actually sync up and the reason that I'm gonna be doing this is when I record the screen capture and I hit record on on the live cam and record on audacity it throws a delay in there so it, when I actually start this it's gonna look like there's a delay and I'll show you how it actually works in the end of it but you'll you'll be able to figure out what's going on anyway so what I would personally do is always start the video first the reason for that is you do not want your audio being before your video else you'll have to trim your audio to start with and you could actually mess up the sync of it that way so whether you end your audio or your video first is up to you uh, either one is fine to be honest with you uh, I'm going to be able I'm gonna leave audacity up once I start it so I can just hit the space bar and end the recording and come right back over here and hit the the um, button here to actually stop the video and then what I'll do is I'll give myself a cue when I actually start the talking part of the video and a cue before I end the video so here we go the video started and audio hey what's up I'm Michael and this is just a test
and it's that simple. So now I'm going to come back over here. And you just hit spacebar. Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and this is just a test. So that's all you have to do. Uh, now, what I want to do is I'm actually going to come into the the folder here and in the folder I have it set up to where it's sorted by type ascending grouped by type ascending and view large icons so what I want to do is copy the file name you don't have to do the same file name but it helps for getting making sure that you have the same thing Come back to Audacity, go to Export, just put in your file name. If there's a dot anywhere, a period anywhere before the ending, you need to put a dot .wav at the end of it. And you see that put it down here. So now, I'm actually done with Audacity, and I am done with this so I'm going to show you how to go about doing the rest of it in Windows Movie Maker and you just hit no you don't need to save anything there so you can open up Windows Movie Maker or you can choose to open with and it just says Movie Maker there I'm just going to come up here I know I have movie maker in this thing and if you're wondering what that is that's called rocket dock and it's a little tool that I use all the time I I love it I wouldn't know what to do without it and it might take a minute for movie maker to come up okay here we go so I'm going to add videos and I'm going to add it there and now I'm going to come to where it says record narration, click on the button beside of it, add sound. Okay? And I'm going to add that wave file. Now, what you want to do is take this, it's fairly drawn out as it is, but you see here are the claps. So we have one clap, two clap, three clap. And as you can see here, the claps are in a different place. So I want to take, and that's way off, so I'm just trying to figure out where to put it. Uh, it's getting a little closer, a little closer. All right, so you see that's it's about as close as it's going to get that way. Now, what you want to do is come to Narration Tools, click on that on your start time. Keep clicking on your start time one down at a time until you line it up. So now you can see you actually have the claps lined up and starting I'm going to go on and start from up here and just play the whole thing the video started and audio as you can tell it was in time what I'm going to do now though is purposely put it out of time so you can hear how it will sound and I'm going to bring it down to here that's out of sync so again I want to bring it back into sync and again
Now, when I shut my eyes, that's my visual cue. So, what I want to do is find where I first open my eyes. And at that point, I want to set that as my start point. I can split, I can trim. What I'm going to do is actually use the trim tool. And... Let's see. Maybe not. I uh, need to cancel that. I'm just going to set the start point here. And now... Hey, what's up? I can see that I can actually start my... I can start it about right here if I want to. So I set my start point. Hey, what's up? Hey, what's I'm up? Right. And that actually did mess it up. So I guess what you want to do is make sure that your uh, your audio is set up at the same place and all. Uh, so here at the end, let me grab the thing here. I see where I close my eyes again. And I just want to find where I was at. So that's kind of my visual cue that I'm going out. And that can be the end of it right there. So now I have a full video. Uh, I'm just going to go all the way back and just play it. Let me actually just come back here and hit play. Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and this is just a test. If you notice, there's a slight over echo or overtone, and that's the difference between the microphone and the in the webcam and the other microphone, the um ice, the snowball ice one the external one I should say so from here that's going to be my video what I want to do is actually take this the audio in this track and I want to let's see I'm trying to remember where it's at okay Back in your options, you go to narration volume, um, and you can see that it is now maxed, and we'll play it. Hey, what's up? I'm Michael. Now, I believe the video, the video volume, so you go to edit, go to video volume, and actually mute it bring it all the way down and now hey what's up I'm Michael and this is just a test you can see how well that actually works and I'm going to bring it back one more time hey what's up I'm Michael and this is just a test and I have my visual in and out cues that help me get the thing set up so that's all you have to do from there you just come up here you can save your project you can export your project however you want to do it. I've not used Movie Maker in a couple of years. Um, so I'm not exactly sure what it was that it, what my settings would be. I'm going to do the recommended ones and it's saying it wants to use a MPEG 4. I'm going to go back with a just a Windows Media video and what I'm actually going to do is go into videos and I have a place set up just for this and it's just render and I'm going to say I'm just going to give it that same name that it had before and you can say you want to give it your final name so just say test with movie maker and just hit save and I have no idea how long this will actually take so 
Uh, it's going to be fairly fast, I guess. I'll let it. Okay. I'm just going to hit play. Hey, what's up? I'm Michael, and this is just a test. There you go. Uh, it, it actually works a lot better than I thought it would in Windows Movie Maker. But besides the actual web camera and the external microphone, you don't have to purchase anything. Um, so as long as you have the hardware, then you can get the software for free. And that is it. Thank you for watching. And please give me a like and a comment if this helped you out. I'd love to know when I help people. And that's, that is my goal for doing these.